Hey, look, it's Trevor. He's getting scared. Drive the fucking car! I'm driving. Well, this is us on our way to Oshawa yeah. to pick up. Oh, is it recording? I don't know. We gotta look. Okay, try. Look at look like I'm driving in Toronto. Oh, Trevor's okay. freaking out. There's traffic everywhere. Look at him. Look at him. Focus on the. <laughs> look, road. look at me. Oh my god, I'm blind. I can't see. <laughs> Focus on. Oh, look, there's no traffic anymore, Trevor. I don't care. Relax. We're going again. Right. So, Trevor, what do you think of the fights this weekend? It's gonna be good, man. So, who's going to win between Jesse Gross and Kirkland? I'm going to say Grossy. I'm, I'm going to say second round submission on that one. Second round submission. Then for... Well, I'd have to ask you, but I don't even have to ask you about the Shannon Ludlow fight, so... Yeah, you don't have to ask Skip that one? All right. Skip that one. And then we've got uh, Chris Hordeski in the main event. I'm going to take the Polish Hammer. Uh, I just think he's just too too devastating. Short notice opponent. Catch weight fight. It's going to be good. Uh, I, I'm going to say Hordeski with a first round KO. Probably like I, I see a head kick coming in that one. First round KO. So what do you think of Malcolm Gordon against Lloyd Reyes? Well, Malcolm, Malcolm's a little spider monkey. That kid's crazy. Spider monkey. Um, you're probably going to see it. Like, he reminds me a lot of Anderson Silva when he fights. Ooh. I'm, I'm, I'm going to say I see another submission in that Malcolm's probably going to take home another arm in that fight It's He's a he's very intense grappler and I'm going to say second, second round submission on that one too Okie dokie Now I know you've been uh, Chatting him up and stuff And talking to some of our friends on Facebook I guess uh, I don't even have to ask you About the Joel Paquette fight Um Joel's going to take that fight home. Um, he's well-rounded. He's ready. He's hungry. He had no problem making weight cut. Um, I'm going to say decision there just because I've been going with knockouts. And uh, I'm going to say that's probably going to be your, your fight of the night, though. Ooh, fight of the night. Now, what about uh, my, my pick? One of the fight of the nights. I have to either go with Grossi or and Kirkula fight or the Adam Asenza against Kyle Preplik fight. Who do you take in the Kyle Prepolik Adam Asenza fight? I'm gonna say Prepolik there. Um, very dangerous fighter. Uh, he kind of lays back a little bit. I'm gonna probably say Prepolik by decision there as well. Good times. And have you heard about the new one? Uh, you've got Randa Marcos against uh, Kirsch. Um, it, it's a very interesting fight. It was a late replacement because of the Garth Watkins, um, Brian Jordan fight being called off because uh, Watkins had that uh, case of the shingles. I haven't really gotten too much in depth in this fight just because it was just announced like a few days ago. Um, so I'm going to say that's probably going to be a really good fight. I, I don't know too much about the fighters to really make a judgment call there, though. So I'd have to say... With uh, let's go with Randa on that one. Randa Marcos. You'll see why I said that. Okay, fair enough. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm trying to think of who else is on the card. Oh, oh come up. on, we got Woody. Yeah, Woodrow Woody Woodrow James. Woody in his pro debut. I'm very excited for this fight. I actually met Woody last year in Hamilton. Fantastic uh, person. I, I'm gonna say. Um, probably going to be a knockout in that fight. I'm saying Woody. I, I'm going to say late in the fight. I'm, I don't think. It's, I think it's going to be a big feeling out process and a pro debut. So I'm going to say a knockout in the third round. Excellent. And then don't forget, we also have uh, Ryan Thompson against um, what's his name? That'd be Daryl Marin from Kitchener. Yeah, you have a Kitchener boy where you know me and Chad are from. So. But I'm going to go with Ryan Thompson, and I'm going to say an arm bar. I, um, I just think, as a Muay Thai guy like Daryl is, I think he's going to be taken down to the ground, and Thompson's going to be smart in that fight. And I'm going to say he's probably going to take home an arm in that fight. Interesting, interesting. Lots of good fights. See, now I'm blinding myself while I'm driving. Everybody's going to be, uh, Trevor's freaking out. But, uh... 
It's going to be a crazy weekend. We're on our way to Oshawa for last minute uh, stop to pick up some MMA gloves for uh, one of the fighters. So, yeah, makes it a very interesting uh, trip, road trip. Look, look, see, traffic. I'm going to let you go before I kill us all. But, uh, later. Come join us at the PFC. Uh, London Fairgrounds, there, there are still a few tickets available, so make sure you go to the Agriplex building in, at the Western Fairgrounds in London, and or call one triple eight simren one that's S-I-M-R-E-N-1. So definitely come check it out. Bunch of top Canadians fighting on the card, and it's going to be an incredible night of fun. Brought to you by Jamie Champion, who is the president of PFC, so definitely check that out. Or you can also go to www.profc.ca for more information. See you at the fights, guys.